Hi there, I am Dr. Rebecca Stelter. I'm a research scientist at Innovation Research and Training, and I am one of the developers of the Plan My Ride program. Hi, I'm Dr. Allison Schmidt. I'm also a research scientist at Innovation Research and Training, and I'm the other developer of the Plan My Ride program. we've done a great job of stigmatizing alcohol impaired driving but um, you know still those things are continue to be problems um, and nobody really tells you how to avoid uh, impaired driving you know giving you the skills like we know that it's dangerous we know that it can be a problem we know that using our phones and while we're driving is distracting and can be a problem but you know, that's very, a very tempting thing to do. And so we really wanted to figure out how we could help people figure out how to not do these things um, instead of just saying, don't do it. You know, we really relied on our background in psychology and health behavior change and designed this program to be immersive and engaging um, while changing the things that influence behavior like attitudes and norms, knowledge, skills, um, and we use the latest scientific research out there to understand what young adults are thinking about these topics and what we designed activities and the program to strategically change those, those influences on behavior to promote safe driving. I mean, I think the, um, the theory and scientific basis is definitely something that, um, you know, as researchers, as scientists, but also people who have worked with community groups in schools, um, with kind of boots on the ground, people doing work in this area, um, I think we really had a, a unique perspective um, and designed a program that would be useful um, and also successful at, at changing driving behaviors. Um, we also wanted to make it really flexible and um, just acknowledging that schools and community groups may want to implement this program in different ways. Um, we've designed this program to be, it can be delivered in in-person classroom settings, it can be delivered um, fully remotely online um, or in a hybrid setting where some, some students are in a classroom and some are not. Um, we have a, at Innovation Research and Training, we have a team of graphic designers and instructional designers um, and web developers who made the program really attractive um, and engaging for the youth. And we, we also designed the program with input from youth themselves. Um, and they had some great feedback for us um, in terms of what would, what would appeal to them and um, what would feel relevant to them in the program. And I, the other thing I think that sets us apart, and Rebecca mentioned this, but it's a very skills-based program. Um, and we focus not only on teaching the skills you need to not drive impaired or distracted, but also give students the opportunity to practice those skills in these interactive 360-degree uh, video scenarios. So the uh, instructor module is uh, an under the hood kind of look at the Plan My Ride program. So we want anyone who is leading the program, whether it be a teacher or a peer group leader, to you know have a little bit more knowledge than the students about the content of the program. Uh, so we walk through the main theory that informed the development of Plan My Ride, as well as our own research that we have done on the program. Uh, we do a an in-depth look at each lesson of the program to explain the, the reasoning behind each concept um, or topic that was included in the program so that instructors, again, just have a little bit deeper knowledge about you know, why this information is included in the program and how it should be used. Yeah, the instructor course is probably about an hour and a half long, um, and it includes taking the student course. So the, there's sort of an introduction at the beginning of the instructor course that presents the theory uh, behind Play My Ride, and then they actually take the whole student course to experience that. And then uh, there's a conclusion at the end that talks a little bit about tips for implementation of the program, 
uh, and describes the uh, extension activities that um, are provided. Yeah, students really enjoy the program. Uh, we have done um, a number of usability studies and um, a feasibility study with uh, students uh, who, you know, have given us some really positive feedback um, about the program and some aspects of the program we weren't sure that they would respond to. They, you know, really, really enjoyed um, and really felt, you know, affected by. Uh, and we know from some of our preliminary research that students who took the program, um, you know, they, they had, they changed in some of their attitudes and their intentions mm -hmm. um, related to safe driving. And so we, you know, have some preliminary evidence that the program is actually effective in having an impact on, on young people. And we plan to do more rigorous research in the future. So we have created a, a website uh, that has an administrative portal that allows instructors, teachers, or peer group leaders, whoever is helping to administer the program, um, they can access all the information they need uh, about the program through this website. Uh, we recommend that Whoever's facilitating the program sets a deadline and expectations for students who are um, expected to complete the program so they know when they need to get it done uh, and, you know, monitor their progress to some extent um, is always helpful, uh, but that that portal you have access to for a year, you have access to the program for a year after you purchase it, and so it's, um, you know, really your one-stop shop for everything that you need to do to implement the program effectively. Sure, so there are a lot of features in the admin portal. Uh, you can sort of do as much in there or as little as you need. Uh, the main thing is that you use it to enroll students in the program, either with their email address, or you can create uh, an account for them without an email address if for some reason you don't want to use email. Uh, you can track their progress in completing the program and check in on whether they've started it. Uh, if they haven't started it, you can send them an automated reminder to nudge them a little bit to complete the program. Uh, you can view all their answers to questions in the program, download data. Um, there's some nice features of uh, just being able to download, um, you know, quick summary of all of the students that you have enrolled and check on whether they've completed the, the program, uh, if they've taken the knowledge test and what score they received on the knowledge test. So I think for teachers um, who may be using the program as part of a school assignment, a class assignment, that, you know, is a quick and easy way to check whether students did it and what, what score they received. Uh, you can also print certificates of completion uh, through the admin portal. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do in there. Uh, download, download all the data from every student who has been enrolled in the program. Uh, so those are some of the, the main features. Um, there are you know, more advanced features in the portal, like if they wanted to you know, send out a customized survey to students um, if they wanted to, um, you know, have students create a survey that they send out to, you know, their whole school, there's actually a whole data collection system that's integrated into the administrative portal that's, you know, a more advanced feature that's available. Um, you can also set up the course to test students' knowledge both before and after they take the program. Uh, if you're interested in actually examining that change in knowledge. Uh, we know from some of our preliminary research that students do gain knowledge um, in, um, after they um, take the program. And uh, so if that's something that you know, customers are interested in, then, then that's an option to set it up that way.
I think the biggest benefit of the administrative portal is how easy to use it is. Um, we really thinking about how precious time is um, for leaders that are enrolling students, we really tried to streamline that enrollment process and make it as easy as possible. Um, there's different ways you can enroll people, you can enroll them in batches. Um, we've really tried to make that very, very easy. And that's the primary use of the administrative panel. And then if you want to dive deeper, there are a lot of other options to monitor implementation, to look at um, student progress, to see how far along they are in the course, how many people have completed the course. Um, you can track student learning by downloading the knowledge scores um, and get some useful data and reports that way. Um, but really, we want this to be easy to use. Um, we want the program to be easy to implement because we know that's really important to being effective. Yeah, so as many people as you need to have access to the administrative portal can have access. Uh, it's really up to, to you, whoever uh, is sort of running the program, managing the program. Um, you could have teachers, uh, peer group leaders, if the program is being implemented by um, you know, peer leaders in, in an organization or in a school you know, group facilitators, really anyone who needs to have access to the information about who's enrolled or have the ability to enroll students in the program can have access to the admin portal. It's really just as easy as signing them up with their email address.